Navy is testing its next-generation aircraft, the F-35C Lightning II, aboard USS Abraham Lincoln. One of the very fundamental tests for these pilots is simply landing. So to help the pilots, the Navy implemented various electronics such as radar to assist them in landing. More accurate position of the ship upon approach. But that's not the only improvement j -PALS can offer. One thing that's significant is to use capabilities and strengths of the old system. And from our admiral, I'd come up to four. Of having to reach out, make phone calls um, after. To Brian M. Brooks, USS Abraham Lincoln. Uh, so typically we'll fly with a crew of three. They're up front, one is acting as the helicopter aircraft command uh, to do an open water search and discover that there's pride is what it takes to be a Griffin. You have to be proud of the job your pilots do in their thing, uh, or like the Starboard Delta, Sierra, USS Abraham Lincoln, and uh, Carrier Strike Group 12 would be uh, Griffins and uh, far more susceptible to torpedo attack. The USS Abraham Lincoln, CVN-72, is a Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier commissioned on November 11, 1989. Named after the 16th U.S. President, it serves as a critical asset for the U.S. Navy, based in San Diego, California. Measuring over 1,092 feet long, it carries a crew of approximately 5,000 and over 75 aircraft. Powered by two nuclear reactors, it has virtually unlimited range for over 20 years. The carrier has played vital roles in military operations like the Gulf War and Operation Iraqi Freedom, and has also contributed to humanitarian missions, such as providing disaster relief after the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. Modernized with midlife refueling and overhaul, the USS Abraham Lincoln continues to symbolize strength and versatility in naval operations. deck of this floating city, and as research has shown, it's not always an easy thing to do. Peg all the readings, and you may not always drop bombs, you may not always be in combat, but you always have to land at the ship at night. Position solution, and it sends that... Uh... Theory behind J-PALS is through the use of GPS, this Abraham Lincoln is currently the only aircraft carrier with J-PALS installed into their landing system, doing carrier qualifications with not only the F-35s, 
but with F-A-18 Super Hornets as well. Major 60 Romeo, and we use it to guard some, uh, some of the secondary missions, uh, what in the other is acting as the, uh, the pilot. Uh, I sit in the third member of the crew, the sensor operator. Uh, the job is not all what, you know, sexy, like, uh, but it's a really important job here, but we have to give it 110%. So this is a stand-up squadron. Uh, we 